Hi, Fluff Two friends. So I am late again. I was in Sacramento with my mom and we went and saw my aunt and my grandma and my brother and we saw my sister and we did, we went to tea at a tea shop in Roseville, which was fun. Um, and so then we got back and I was just so tired that I was like, I can't do it today. So I'm doing it today, Sunday, the 30th. And uh, I'm going to be posting it. It should go up over tonight. So it should be live tomorrow, the 31st, the last day of July. Um, we have Lucas here with us today. He's taking a little nap. Hi, baby. While we're filming. And um, so, yeah, I haven't gotten much done because I hurt my wrist. Um I think I get like tendonitis or something. I get tendonitis in my uh, in my uh, left tendon, my Achilles, um, and it was similar to that. So I just had to rest it for a little bit. So I did some non-stitchy things. I separated the beads for a Mill Hill kit I want to do. This one, spring bouquet. So I did that. I did get most of this one done. Um, just have two more colors I need to do on here and then this one will be done and now that my wrist is feeling better I'm hoping I'll get that stitched up and finished before the next one comes out um, I didn't get anything done on this diachalon I'm horrible but I will because that's not a giant one um, I've been working on gridding my fabric for the um, lakeside needlework stitch along for christmas a lot of people like were seeing the frog and stuff so i thought you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna um grid that because i don't want to you know i don't want to see the frog so i'll grid it so that's what i actually took that and started gridding it I actually messed up on the gridding so probably a good thing i was gridding rather than just straight stitching because i'd hate to pull the stitches the gridding i'm like whatever i can just pull that so that's the little bit of stitching I actually got done and it seems when I don't stitch I buy more so I do have quite a lot of loot to show um, basically I'm probably gonna do the mill hill kit I could probably knock that out in two days um, finish the gridding and start in on the Christmas stitch along um, get the colors done start in on um, stitch rovia and um, those are my plans for the next two weeks um, and see where that goes from there. Um, I'm liking to stay caught up on the Stitchrovia that only has two more months after this one. Um, so then we'll see where we go from there. So let's get started on some haul. I have a mixture of lots of things I bought from Stash and Load. I've got some stuff from Down Sunshine Lane. I went to my local needlework store and I went to Savers, which I've never been to a Savers before. I always thought it was like a big lots, like a, you know, a discount store, not like a thrift store, but it is a thrift store. So I went there and found a bunch of uh, cross stitch stuff. So I'll show you what I got from everywhere. And I also, I did win um, on Instagram. Um, McKenna was having a giveaway of some um, charts and whatnot that she had gotten that she didn't want. And I won the Halloween chart and I got that in and that's what this one looks like. Uh, I am on Instagram. I post very little on there. I'm new. Instagram is, is new. And then I'll show this. It was a free bookmark. It's the chart. But I'll just show it real fast. Sweet pea bookmark. It's very cute. I think it's very cute. Oh, I don't use bookmarks. I just remember where I'm at. I need to read the whole book. Or just use whatever I have handy. So, let's see. This is my... I don't, this is a lot of different things. I got this bag from Down Sunshine Lane. Isn't it so cute? It's sparkly. My husband will never touch it. The sparkly does not come off. Don't tell him. Because then he might touch it. it well, he has no reason to touch it. But it's nice and big. Nice and sturdy. I like it. So I got some amazing needle minders. My Christmas needle minders from Delicious Threads. Hi, Jennifer. I love them. They're so cute. I love the little bear. His eyes poke out. I think he might have a thyroid problem. 
And then I got the freebie. So far I have three of the freebies. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. Let's see. And then I know I got these from, okay, so my best friend Crystal showed that she got all of these fairies on Stitch Mania. And I was like, oh my goodness. So then I saw that they were on clearance on Down Sunshine Lane. So I bought the ones that I liked on clearance. And I got Fiona the Fae. That's a Fae. Yeah, Fae. Do, do, do. That one's cute. I like that one. And it comes with the perforated paper and the beads. And all of these ones. And then Wendy the Winter Witch. I really like that one. I think she's so cute. Being a January baby, I love the winter. Fall and winter. Oh my god. Give me those seasons all year round. Spring and summer can go take a hike. Spring's not the worst. Summer's the worst. Without a swimming pool, who needs it? Psh, get out of my hair. And then Sadie the Spring Witch. So there are some stitches in these I have never done. And there's a lot of critic. But I look forward to trying. I got those. I'm excited to try those. I got some snippets. Hocus Pocus, because we all need a little Hocus Pocus in our lives. And it just looks like a super fun little quick stitch. I mean, I love little quick stitches because I need a finish, people. I've been working on my stitch alongs, and those just don't feel like finishes because they're not finishes. I need a finish. And then I got Wait Till December 25th. My, I should stitch this for my sister and put it on every single one of her presents. She is horrible about it. There's a difference. Like, my sister loves to, like, shake her presents and try to guess what she's getting. I don't. I like the surprise. The difference is I'm horrible at keeping secrets. And I'm horrible at telling lies. Like, I, I can't. I can't do it. My husband doesn't lie because he thinks it's funny when he doesn't. And I don't lie because I literally, I can't. It just won't come. I start giggling. I just can't do it. Um probably a good habit to have but not when you're trying to keep a secret what you bought like I'll buy a Christmas present and I'm just like oh my god I want you to open this so bad and my husband's like it's December 1st so it's gonna be hard when we have kids because I'm not gonna be able to do Christmas shopping till like the 23rd or something and then like go get a hotel room and stay out of the house <laughs> sorry kids mom's out of town for the night you see me Christmas morning Santa will bring me back because <laughs> I'll otherwise I'll snitch I'll tell him you guys, I got two best things ever. And then I got Snow Story. This was actually on my one, two, three wish list. Sorry for my one missing nail. Cute. But they are cute, aren't they? Glittery. Can't tell, but they are glittery. Anyways, um, this whole set, this Snow Story was on my one, two, three wish list. So that was on Clarence on Down Sunshine Lane. Yes, I bought it. So it's cold hands, warm hearts, snow love, and you could do it all up in one, one thing. And they all come with the buttons and everything. But that's super fun. I got this. This one was a stash unload, I believe. Life is not measured by the breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breaths away. I love that saying. Sorry for the glare. And it came with the um, Week Sky Works, which was super nice. And then I picked up the Country Cottage Needleworks Dogs, Dog Friends Forever, Cat Friends Whenever. Because it's true. And I love cats. They're adorbs. But I'm a dog person. Even though my dog is sometimes I like cats. My dogs are the best of all worlds. The bestest ever. Nice oh, sleeping. I don't care. Reach into the bag and grab some more. 
I got a little January flip at January or January flip at January that kind of, you know, said what it was. Jeez Louise, Kimberly came with the buttons. This was a stash unload. I'm going to have so many January things because you know what? It's an awesome month. It needs to be celebrated more. Everyone thinks it's so dreary. Christmas is over. Let's get it over with. You know what? I was born in January, so it's pretty awesome. Then. Oops, I dropped it on the ground. At my needlework store, I went a little Mill Hill crazy. Um, I got this suitcase. I just really liked it. And um, I got the pickle. Because everyone needs a pickle for their Christmas tree. And then I got this Believe. Because, oh my god, that looks so easy to cut out. I'm tired of the mill hills where I'm afraid of cutting the wrong thing. And I like the board. Look at all the cute beads. So many beads. I'm in a bead mood. And I got Tom Turkey. Because we all need a turkey. Gobble, 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 gobble. I like the white meat. I'm not a dark meat girl. And then I already had the London... I already had that one, but I went and got all the threads I needed. I got the classic color works and the um, weak sky works that I needed for it from my local needlework store. So they were only missing one color, kudzu. I don't know what color that is. I have to check it. I think it's a brownish color. Otherwise, I got all of those. So I'd love to start this one with some point. And then I got the Prairie Schooler 2017 Santa. I just thought it was super cute. I love he's really working that polar bear. I am. Hurry my shit, man. Look at these. The icebergs are melting. Looks so sad. Oh well. And then I got the Prairie Schooler Knock Knock. That does look really cute. And I'm sure I have some awesome fabric to put it on because I have lots of fabric. Oh my goodness, you guys. I went overboard on the picture of this plus sale. I don't even remember how much I bought. I think I bought like seven pieces or something. I love it all. So when it gets here. I'll have a lot to show you. <laughs> Speaking of which, I got this and my LNS. My stash is huge and I'm not ashamed. I'm not. I'm happy. I love it. <laughs> and I think the final thing I got at my LNS was just crossed at Halloween. I haven't even fully gotten to like go through it, but I've seen so many flip throughs of it that I don't think it really matters. But uh, there are there are some cute things in here that I would be quite happy to stitch. So okay, so that's all that I got at my L and S store. I'm pretty sure. So okay, I'll save that for last. Let's see. I got at Joanne's. I got cross stitcher. I don't even know summer 2017 issue there's some cute ones in here and yes 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 just like everyone else we all know what one i want to stitch um it's the one everybody wants to stitch michelle if you do a stitch along with this you better let me in you know what you better My cousin's actually a tattoo artist. I was thinking I might make him like draw me an awesome design and then I'll have like churg it out. Maybe one day. Because I'm not getting a tattoo. I don't want that many needles in me. Just kidding. I might. I can never make up my mind. I'm a big baby. I also got Ultimate Cross Stitch Gardens. I had like four 50% off on regular priced items, so 
I just went kind of overboard. Some cute patterns, I don't know. Butterflies and whatnot, we all know those butterflies. Okay, so I found this magazine, right? Jill Oxton's Cross Stitch and Bead Weaving. I love this thing. And guess what, I'm loving the whole thing and I'm like, I really like this, I really like this. The last page it says, this is our final magazine. And I'm like, no, why I just found you. So I might have to like get some back order things. Look at this one. Like she charts everything for like bead only or like if you want to do the cross stitch. I love the fairy she has in there. They're just all very cute. I'm very happy with the designs in here. They're very cute. And yeah, she like just gives you lots of ideas. Like she'll give you the cross stitch pattern for it or if you want to bead it only or just so many different ideas for it. So I was, I was loving that. So I might have to, there's a couple things I saw in past ones like an iris and I was like, I'm gonna have to get that pattern for magazine. So this little festival style bracelet kit came with the uh, cross stitcher magazine. I'll have to do that up. I, that's the end of my Jillian stuff, I think. I don't know, stuff's all mixed up in there. I got my most sale grab bag. When you get the grab bag, I get it from the, through the Facebook group. Um, basically get, I don't even remember how many. Um, two of, like it's random colors, but you get like two of a random color. Um, so it's not like you're just getting like one and then you're like, oh, I hope I have enough. You get two of them. So if you actually want to stitch with them, you have, you have a fair amount. So I really love that. Um, at first I was like, mm, and then I fell in love with them. I can't help it. I just love these colors. I just love colors. And I get the cotton, and they're so pretty. So I got that. Most sale. I love most sale. I just ordered some silks. I've stitched myself one, and I, I found it was fine. I didn't realize that it was supposed to be too different. Um, but she knows. Um... I just, I love the way they feel. They're so soft. It's so pretty. I like how they're shiny. Um, oh, I got some E135 at Joanne's. Oh, because I had to go pick up the, um, the gold for the, this one. So I picked up some other random ones that were pretty. They actually didn't have it at Joanne's. I had to go to Michael's. I bought a lot of Michael's things. Itch ears too. Oh, Lucas. I said ears. I didn't need ears in the screen. Goodbye. Go bug your sister. This was a savers purchase. Cross stitch from Country Gardens. It's cool. There's some, I mean, I mean, obviously the first thing I open up to is the purple iris. So I was like, I'm gonna get it. And then like butterflies and whatnot. So it's cute. And oh, like three dollars or something. So I was happy with that. And then four seasons cross stitch. That has some cute, interesting stuff in there. Um, we'll just have to we'll just have to see. It'll go in the maybe one day. And then there was, okay, I did find this funny. There was like a daydreams, like free patterns from DMC inside one of the books. Like in a, so you want to learn to cross stitch. Thanks for letting us know from like DMC. And I was like, wow, that's weird. But I'll take it. You want back up here, Lucas? Come on, I'm not picking you up. It's like a foot and a half high. Jump up. You're so weird. You're going to jump up mid-sentence, aren't you? And then I got a bunch of, like, old cross-stitcher magazines for the love of cross-stitch. 
Um, these just had some fun, like, Christmas stitches in them. I didn't, they had a bunch of them there, and I didn't even take them all, because if I didn't, like, do, I did a quick flip through, or if nothing popped out to me, sorry, um, right away, I was like, well, maybe somebody else will love this. I don't want to be a pattern hog. So I just left it there. Um, so, but this had that Merry Christmas, and there were a couple other things. One has like this thing that says Merry Kiss Moose, and I'm just like, that's hilarious. I want that. Um, but they do have this one. Okay, do you need this one? It's pretty pansies. I'm trying, I'm covering up the pattern, so I'm having to hold it oddly. If you need it, let me know. I'm not too attached to this one. Unless it has Kiss Moose, and then I'll stitch that and send you the pin. It does have Kiss Moose, but I can stitch this. Look at Merry Kissmas. My husband's laughing at me right now. I'm stitching in kind of the same area as I first, I'm not stitching, I am filming in the same area, but in a different chair. We're rearranging our living room right now because I just got a computer desk, but we're having it delivered tomorrow. So our room is a complete disaster right now. I got buttoned up for the holidays he just has some really cute patterns i like the witch on the moon and this one like it'll have basically like it has the wreath and then it has a bunch of different um cutouts so if you don't want to put like here's fourth of july but back here it shows it like easter and no i'm not gonna do it on clothes good grief um, but yeah, see interchangeable motifs for the angel or for the wreath. My little pumpkin with the cat is pretty cute. That cat looks mean though. I'll tell you what. Um, and then I got this one. I think I saw this on Tracy P's and I was like, that's cute. Holiday house. You stitch the house and then you stitch all these little ones on separate one. And then you interchange them throughout whatever holiday it is. And I kind of like that. Smells like, um, old lady. But, I don't know. I like, I, I'm not a big fan of the ferns on the front of the house. I don't know why I'm anti-fern. I just am. And I wish it was a different color house. Like, it way too blends into that fabric. It it's like, come on, colors, people. They're allowed. Towels for tea time. My mom really wants some towels that I stitch on, and I'm just horrible with coming up with some motifs, so. This one just has a bunch of motifs already for me. Cat and ghosts and whatever. So I'll just find something and stitch it for her, and she'll be a happy little camper. And then this one, Janlin. I'm not so sure I'm big on the sayings on them, but I do like the characters. And then, okay, this one. I'm sure I've, I've seen this one on one of somebody's video. I don't know whose, but I loved it then, and I love it now. Why a teddy bear is a cross-stitcher's best friend. They patiently bear with you while you finish just one more stitch. They silently keep you company late at night while you finish a project. They love you even when you would rather cross-stitch than cook. They don't use your floss for string. They never complain when everything is covered with snippets of floss. They don't talk to you while you're counting. They don't spill food on your cross-stitch charts. They love you in spite of you being a cross-stitcher. And I was like, yep. But the thing I like about it is it also has other ways to finish 
all the little teddy bears. You know, like the rather cook, stitch than cook on an apron and things like that. And it tells you how to do those finishes. And I thought that was pretty interesting. And because I'm always looking for instructions on how to finish differently. And then something else that I found at the cross stitch at Savers that I really enjoyed grabbing up. 101 alphabets for whenever I feel like creating. And it's just, you know, it's a bunch of just cross stitch, back stitch charts. Um, I don't know how to do them basically. Just a bunch of different um, alphabets. So if you're looking to change an alphabet up and you're just like, I just don't want to try and figure this out. I need one pre-made. Just give me some letters to stitch. I got one right here. But it also in here, shows you how to design your own and i thought that was pretty nifty and like how to sign i know there's a lot been a lot of talks about like oh how do you sign your work what goes on to it there's like a section in here on how to convert your signature into cross stitch and i was like well okay i probably wouldn't put my real signature on there that's a messy piece of crud but um but like if you created like if you have a fancy signature that you want to add, this would help you chart it so that you could put that on the bottom of all your work or just different ways to just put your initials and the year and things like that. Um, so I thought that was pretty neat and fancy. And then to go along with that, create your own chart. I thought this was pretty nifty. Um, everyone just says, Oh, just grab a piece of graph paper and there you go. But I'm like, that's a lot of dang work. Um, but this gives a little bit more um, information on it. How to do the different types of, you know, just real quick, like a, how to make a suggestion of brick versus a suggestion of siding. Things like that that you may not think of when you're doing like your first sort of thing. Like the patterns they do show in here are really old fashioned and not something that I would ever really stitch but it also shows um you know about choosing different colors and the hues and and that's something that I don't know it's just really informative for someone who's never made their own this charts or designs like I haven't and uh so yeah I thought those were pretty good fruits and I was pretty happy with them and I think that is all from savers Oh, we got more Joanne's down here in the bottom. I got lots of stuff. Okay, Joanne's and Michael stuff. I got this adorable owl fabric for a backing for something. Don't ask me what, but look at those owls. They are so cute. I picked up new colors. I already have them all. Like I said, I had four fifty percent off coupons and I went a little crazy. Plus it comes with charts, so. And then I got variegated pack. I didn't have any of these, and there are actually some dis like a couple of discontinued colors in here. And there's two flosses of each of the colors. So that was pretty nifty. So yeah, that was pretty nice. Look at all the colors. And that one comes with um, some patterns too. So we got that. I got this beautiful kit. Isn't it gorgeous? I just am in love with it. Got it at Joanne's. It's a lot of blue thread to be stitching on blue fabric. I can do it. I can do it, says I. Don't tell me if I'm wrong. You don't know. You might know, but don't tell me. I got some fabric, some stiff um, felt for backing um, my Mill Hills that I've been making. I don't know if stiff felt works better or not, but it was on clearance, so I bought some. It was like 39 cents a piece. 
And um, I bought some adhesive glitter sheets. Um, I could try back in my Mill Hill kits with that stuff. Sticking a Mill Hill kit right on, that would be glorious. I have to make sure that the glitter doesn't rub off though or it might not be allowed in my house. It has four different colors or six different colors, I don't know. Mouth wasn't my strong suit. And okay, so <laughs> these were on clearance for like 50 cents at Joanne's. So I got a pack of these cute little purple buttons. Okay, I've been watching your videos and those just button clubs. I don't even, I don't know why you get buttons, but they're adorable. So I bought a bunch of buttons. Um, It's a problem, Kay. Look at these mother of pearl buttons. They are gorgeous. Mozzie. Okay. Sit your butts right down, people. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Maybe make a needle minders, probably not. But now I own them. Look at that. Look, fairy door. Fairy welcome yes please did you know how many disney ones they had i gotta blow my budget there i'm just telling you right now i put everything in my mickey bag oh i got some glow in the dark floss getting ready for the halloween stitch along from lakeside needleworks And what else did we get in here? Oh, I got lots of things in here. Uh, what did I to show you? So I got some stuff from Sparklies. <gasps> you guys. Here we go. Ooh, the surprise is coming. This one's called Pitch. I got it in 28 Brittany Opalescence. You're seeing it. I could just stitch like the Millennium Falcon, like right in the middle, zooming off. It is amazing. Look at all that glitter. I can make a dress out of this stuff. It's not very soft, so I mean, not pajamas or anything, but a dress. And then I got some dusk in 18 out, 18 out, 18 out, 18 count, either. I like to just mix up my sizes sometimes when I'm not ordering for anything specific. I'm all figure it out. Mix this suck up. It's very light. But it's like, let's do it. Let's see if I fold it up. That's. A little bit better. It's like a, it goes from like white to pale pink to blue. So it's showing up a little bit lighter than I think it is in real life. That's maybe a little bit better. But it's still really pretty and I like it. And definitely I'm thinking like a mirror or something on a fabric like this. I just think it's going to work. I love it. And then I got parchment, which is an 18 count. And again, and okay, when I think parchment, I think like yellows and browns. This is pretty dang algae y, greenish. I still love it. I still think it's gorgeous. There, there's a lot of green in here. My husband fell asleep. Oh, he woke up. He almost hit his head on his, on his, on his keyboard. I pray every day that that's going to happen because it's going to make me laugh so hard. Oh. I love you too, sweetheart. What? 
But no, I still think it's pretty fabric. I just, there was a little bit more green than I was expecting in it. <laughs> oh, you guys. Okay. I got, I ordered this from Sparkles, right? I want all of these. Do you see this gorgeousness? Do you see this gorgeousness? All of the Nimi. I don't even know if that's how you say it. That's how I pronounce it. I am in love with this pattern. And then there's just so many others. These are others that I just would love to stitch. Oh, I'm in love with that pattern. That's gonna, that's the has to stitch. Oh, I got this from Stash Unload. Little House Needle Works. Winter, December, January, February. Seasons of Rest. And then oops, it also came with Spring, March, April, May, Season of Hope. And summer, June, July, August, season of growth. It is pretty now. Autumn, September, October, November, season of plenty. And then I got Town Church, the hometown holiday series, but I just love with the nativity scene out front and the church with the snow. I just thought that was crazy pretty. So I got those. Like I said, you guys, loot heavy. I thought at first I wasn't going to have any things, but I did. Well, okay, if I'd filmed on time, I wouldn't have had any of like the Dawn Sunshine Lane or anything, because that came out. But okay. Country Cottage Needle Works in January. Because it's the best month to be born in. Just kidding. It's not all that great. My birthday's the 26th. Exactly a month after Christmas. So I get all my presents in like a one month window. And then I'm out of luck. The rest of the year. And I saw McKenna stitching these. And I'm in love with them all. And... So I got this one when I saw it. Troubled Waters. I love them because they are like, oh, wait a minute. That's not right. That's my sort of thing. I love that sort of thing too. And I got another Mirabilia Rose Arbor. Look at that. It's so gorgeous. I forget which philosophy, but somebody's like, why don't we dress like that anymore? And I'm like, because they needed servants to get them into those dresses and try peeing in one of those dresses. My wedding dress was puffy like that. I loved it. But uh, when we had to tie my train up for dancing, my sister literally had to crawl under my dress and tie, tie my dress up. So it's not practical for everyday use. Or any they use, but they are gorgeous. Probably be good on a diet because you ain't sitting down and eating a big meal or wearing that thing. Definitely not sitting down at Texas Roadhouse and snacking on some peanuts. I love me some peanuts. Okay, so <laughs> this one comes with a little bit of a backstory. Um, I, as, I, I got just cross stitcher from my LNS and it had a postcard in there and it said, um, mail this in and, you know, get two years for this match. And I was like, Oh, that's a pretty good deal. But then when I went to go on the website, it was like, Oh, you know, sign up and you can get a free copy of the next magazine. And if you don't like it, you don't pay for the, the thing. And I was like, Oh, okay. I'll try that. Well, they sent me a copy of the magazine that I already had. So I was like, 
no, I'm not going to do that. And plus they were going to ask, they were asking more than I had the postcard for. So I was like, no, I'm not going to pay this way. I'll pay with the postcard. So when I sent them the postcard, they started my subscription, but they sent me the another one. So basically I have two copies of this magazine. I don't need two copies of this magazine. If somebody wants it, let me know. Because I don't need two copies of this magazine. So that's the story. That was pretty, I tried to make it pretty short. I tried to make this video short. I, I felt like I've been moving along at a pretty good speed. I just had a lot of loot. And then I got this off stashing mode, people. And don't be jealous or anything. But it's 14 count Ada. Two yards of it. Seven dollars a yard. Seven dollars a yard. Drop in the mic. I don't drop mics, people. My brother. He's a, he's a stagehand, and that can ruin a mic. That just that, that's a lot of money down the drain. Don't really drop mics. That's horrible for me. That's that's not a good thing. Okay. Now that's the end of my loot. Mostly. Last thing. Last thing. Because I wasn't stitching, and I couldn't buy things twenty four hours a day. Um. I was reading and my aunt had told me about a novel she read that was about a cross stitching um, mystery solving lady like you know on the Hallmark channel they have the bakers that solve mysteries and I only watch them at Christmas anyways so I looked it up the quick in the thread by Amanda Lee she owns a needlework store. She teaches cross stitching classes. And apparently this lady has hands that move as fast as a cheetah because she stitches faster than anyone alive can stitch. And I don't know how she runs a store and does everything else that she does, but setting aside what can and can't be done in reality. It was all right. It was good enough about the second one. Go read it if you're looking for, like, a great novel. Read it if you're looking for, like, a Hallmark movie novel. That makes sense? They talk about cross-stitching things, and you're like, I know what they're talking about. Yeah, that makes sense. The second one, so far, I just started it last night, and it actually, the murder has something actually to do with cross-stitch. It doesn't just happen in her cross-stitch store. So we'll see if it gets any better and is more stitching related. There's a good amount of them. So we can't, must be doing pretty well. If you guys have read the series, if you guys have any opinions, she has two love interests. I have my favorite already. I know I picked a side and I'm sticking with it. So yep, she's in Oregon, Tallulah Falls. So yeah, I was saving this, which brings me to Goodreads. It is a website and an app. And I was going to tell you guys about it because if you guys have Goodreads, you can track books that you have read because I used to just do it by pen and paper because I'm a big nerd and I want to remember what I read and how many pages I read per year. But you can also track what books you want to read. So if somebody gives you an opinion or, you know, says, Hey, read this book. On a floss tube video, you can keep track of them on this website rather than writing it on post-it notes and trying to keep track of all your post-it notes. Because I've done that before too. Um, and if you do that and you sign up on Goodreads to receive their daily deal alerts, if any of those books go on sale through Amazon or Google or any of those, they will let you know, hey, this book has gone on sale for 99 cents. Um, or and if you've read enough, they'll say, hey, you've read a lot of books by this author. Their newest book has gone on sale or things like that. 
So it's a pretty good way to keep in touch and um, with your, you know, favorite authors and other things like that. If you, you know, you want, if you don't want to sign up for every single author's email list, it's a good way to figure out what's going on because, you know, they'll do it for you. And um, just find out about new things coming out in, in genres that you're interested in. Um, and they also have reviews by other people that have read the books. Because sometimes I'm like, oh, that sounds really interesting. And then I go and I start reading the reviews and I'm like, oh, yeah, no, that would that would drive me crazy. Um, but if it that wouldn't drive you crazy, then go ahead and read the book. Um, so, so, yeah, so give Goodreads a look. It's not Stitchy related, but we all do love reading and uh, whatnot. Okay, most of us do. I don't know if all of us do. But so the quick in the thread is an embroidery mystery is pretty good um and give good reads a, give good reads a go and that is all i have for you people 45 minutes better than last time so i will see you again hopefully in two weeks and i hope everyone has a fun stitchy time and gets lots of loot and um does more stitching than I did last week. All right. Uh, bye, everybody.